Doug manifest care plant based mind for yourself. Buy it now at Walmart and Target. Doug and Robinson, one of the employees from the life of success stories. Sometimes underdogs from basketball and beyond. On a state podcast, the one shot. To hear from athletes and others who've proven naysayers wrong. Listen free on radio.com, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to your shows. The Tigers home opener is just 13 days away. 97 1. and they're up by 11, 44 to 33. First half is ending, and Gabe Brown either misses a defensive assignment or is falsely accused of missing a defensive assignment. But uh, as the half ends, Izzo goes on the court and and tries to explain to him or yell at him, and, and Gabe Brown yells back and says, no, that wasn't my fault, and and then he pulls away and goes up the tunnel, and Izzo goes after him, grabs him by the jersey, and they tries to talk again. And uh, it was the subject of the entire halftime show on TBS with Kenny Smith and Charles Barkley and the gang. Most of them didn't have a problem with it. Kenny Smith kind of did. He said, you know, you just in today's you just can't put your hand on a player like that. Um, here's my thought, Jeffrey, and then I'll shut up and let you go. Um, I don't think. I, I get nervous when people just, in a, even on our own paper, Nolan Finley uh, wrote a, a column today, our editorial writer, ripping Izzo and ripping people that defend him under the guise that you just can't do that to, to these days. Now, I get nervous when we frame stuff by, well, in, in today's climate, you can't, well, yeah, in today's climate, you can't use curse words or, or the N word or any climate you can't do that stuff but let's not lump every single physical act into you just can't do that so in my regard that's not what my problem with it is my problem with it is is that the lack of composure from Izzo I think transfers to his team whether he whether he grabbed Gabe Brown or not whether he just yelled at him and put whatever Forget the physical part. I don't. I don't really care. This is what I'll care. I'll care about the physical part if a player or a player's parents has a major problem with it. I've never heard that. Aaron Henry two years ago. I did a column completely defending on one of them. Izzo and Henry said he had no problem with it. So as long as the player or the parents do not have a problem with it and they understand each other, I can deal with that. The the, the lack of composure though. I think it rattles his team sometimes now. Am I wrong? No, I think you're dead on. I, I do. Listen, I have no issue with how he coaches. I think Izzo's a fabulous coach, and for the longest time, I was jealous of him, and I always respected him. Here's the deal. Yesterday, I believe he hurt his team. The Big Ten tournament game against Maryland. I believe he hurt his team. And he admitted so. Now, maybe the incident with Aaron Henry a couple of years ago, that's a different team, a different series of leaders. And maybe they can deal with it better. But what you saw yesterday, and I'm not saying it was just the incident, Woj, but what you saw yesterday was a team that was red hot in the first half. And then in the second half, you saw a team that was kind of biting with each other. And the entire topic was Izzo going after Gabe Bryant. I think two games in a row, Izzo cost his team. I do. I think, and you just said it. It's almost like, and and maybe you just got to know your team. Izzo lost his mind twice. I would call that losing his mind. I don't care that he touched a player. That's Izzo. If Draymond Green doesn't care, if all millions of Spartans don't care, then I don't care. It's fine. All I know is, in the realm of winning a college basketball game, two games in a row, Maryland and yesterday against UCLA, Izzo screwed his team. And you can't tell me he did. Well, no, against Maryland, certainly the free throws and everything else. Maryland he even admitted it. That. 
and, and this one, Michigan State was up 11 at the time it happened, and the rest of the game, UCLA outscored them by 17 because they won by six. So, and, and you hit upon it, Jeffrey. It's about knowing your team. Aaron Henry and that that more senior-laden team or more experienced team, they could handle it. They knew about it. You're going to run into some kids or players who maybe can't handle it or aren't as easily um, motivated that way. And, but, but again, I have no problem with Izzo trying to get the best out of his players, obviously. And he tries as hard as any coach I've ever seen to make sure he knows his players. Oh, yeah. He spends more time talking to them, meeting with them, doing everything else. He's not a stranger in that regard. So he gets leeway in my book because of that. And I don't even think he's really getting that much criticized today about no. it. No, this goes away pretty quickly. Beer and Henry stuff was lasted a little longer just because it was the first time on national TV I think a lot of people saw it. Now people know who Tom Izzo is. This to me I thought was a little worse actually if you're going to compare the two because he did put his hands on a player and then tried to rip his jersey as Gabe Brown decides to walk away. But again, I don't have a huge issue with the act. All I know, Woj, is I watched them in the second half. And if I'm dead wrong about this, if it had nothing to do with the incident, then so be it. But how many times yesterday did the announcers mention Josh Langford has an issue with Aaron Henry and Aaron Henry doesn't know where to be? And, you know, it's almost like you saw it against Maryland. And then yesterday I saw it again. And that's not the only reason they lost. I mean, Aaron Henry played probably a minute of his most regrettable basketball ever. Did box out, took a stupid shot, did drive to the basket. It happens. All I know is Izzo did not help his team the last two games. And, and here's a, I'll take it a step further. The dude is 62 years old. He's a Hall of Fame coach, and he's amazing at what he does. But at some point, you'll wonder if that sort of starts to lose its effectiveness. And I know he's got everybody hugging up and, sta and standing up and defending him, but... But his team did not perform well in two incidents when he did that this year. Okay, but I'm not ready to say that at all, all right? They they were the Final Four the last time there was a Final Four. You're right. They won three, eight, ten titles. So I'm not even close to going there in that piece. This, I, this is what I will say, especially in a short season with the pandemic. Is a coaching <laughs> style, and, and I really believe this, it takes time to work. I mean, how often do we say, boy, they look so bad, and... November and December because it takes time. He takes that time to sort of break down his players, but get to know them, toughen them, you know, practice after practice to learn how demanding he is and what they, he wants of them. And they didn't get that this year. I mean, it's not an excuse, a lot of, but this is not like some teams, they, uh, they go and get programs, they go and get five star players, roll the ball out there, and they're good to go. Oh, you're right. You're, you're absolutely so, right. To, to, to teach defense, to teach uh, the, the aggressiveness, to toughen them up and harden them up, is does take time. And they, they did not, they never got there this year. And then when required just to sort of freelance and go on their own offensive ability and their own shooting ability, they didn't have enough. And that's why I say this is a one-year aberration. I'm not willing to say, oh, get it of the end now. No. no, no, and I agree with you. And, you know, real quick, Woj, Look at all the players that have played for him. There's never been one guy that has said anything negative. He's got Steve Smith donating a ton of money. He's got Matt Ishbia and Dan Gilbert in kind of a urinating match. Who can donate more? Now we're named Rocket Mortgage. Ishbia gives $32 million. Like, all these guys love him. They have this alumni locker room. There's a total family up there. Everybody sticks up for Rizzo. So, again, the act didn't really bother me. It's how it affected his team, and you cannot make the point that it did not affect his team negatively. You just can't. Now I'm not saying the reason they lost the game. No, no. Although you could say that, just like you could say the, the Maryland game. But, but, but no, it's it's enough people have gone through it and support him and defend him. See, this is the word I don't like, and I used to uh, uh, argue with the Rico and the man all the time. The word optics. When your only complaint is the optics. Ah, the optics don't look good. You put it the optics, optics, optics. To me, that's just a way of saying, well, um, I don't have a problem with it, but it doesn't, it doesn't look good. Well, 
that you can't damn somebody if if you just think optics wise it doesn't look good. Because optics wise, lots of things don't look good. I agree with that. You have to go deeper and make a determination. Is a in his team, I think. Quick take a text. It says, hmm. So Howard can try to fight the opposing coach, push his own player off him, and he's showing fire. People love it. Izzo yells at a player, grabs his arm to keep talking to him, and it's an issue. Bias media at its finest. Well, if you listen, both Mojo and I said we had no issue with the way he coached. All we're saying okay. is that it affected the way they played in the second half. That, that is major what about is Very, very easy to flush out the what about what about it. Some in 
She's more of a groundbreaker, turning her four-acre lot into a little slice of heaven behind the wheel of a John Deere 1 Series tractor. Renee runs with us because the most important job is the next one. That's all I got. Nothing runs like a deer. Get a 1 Series tractor for just $99 per month at your John Deere dealer today. For additional cost information, please call toll-free 855-633-2315. No matter how large or small your digging project may be, no matter how urban or rural, you must always call 811 before any digging project. 811 is our national one-call number, alerting your local utility companies to come out and mark any lines they have near your dig site. So before you do this or this, make sure you do this. For digging projects big or small, make the call to 811, brought to you by Common Ground Alliance. The Detroit Pistons play the Houston Rockets. Free game tonight at 7.35 on 97.1 The Ticket. and tell me uh, if we need to go to the phones at any point because I can't see the phones from my house here. But the, the, the thing that is we have to see both sides in my mind is no, not making a big deal out of it. I'm not. I mean, some people, well, I'm not. Neither is Jeff. But you don't have to apologize for talking about it either. It's like, no, 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 no. So that means, that means he's crazy. Is that what you're saying? I get that all the time. If you say anything and I see it, Oh, really? You're talking about okay. Something happened that the entire basketball audience watching on TBS was talking about, and what we're not allowed to hear because we know that how ISO operates, and we do know more than the average viewer, so we can explain it better. That's something that drives me crazy. The little chip I'm trying to tell you what you can and cannot talk about. You know, I'm totally with you, and it's so funny because there were so many Michigan State writers, media members yesterday, even players, former players, that's just Izzo. Don't y'all go making something out of this. Don't do it. It's nothing. This is winning basketball. I saw, I heard like five people say winning basketball. Like, guys, you actually lost the game. So it actually wasn't winning basketball. But just because this is Izzo, He's still putting himself in this position. Like, he could actually, here's a crazy concept. He could actually just walk in the lock and talk to Gabe Brown there. Then nobody would have saw anything, and it doesn't turn into this major distraction that, as you mentioned, the college basketball world is talking about. Again, not a huge issue in the grand scheme of it. get a double quarter pounder with cheese with just ketchup and onion a cheeseburger and a large coke double quarter pounder with cheese with only ketchup and onion a cheeseburger large coke anything else that's it 909 first one up Thank you. 
this is a gift to the lady in the car, I thought. Hey, it's a gift. She'll keep it. <laughs> she won't be an Indian giver, do you think? No. No? I'm going to give it to her. Oh, stop. You want to give it to her? No. You can give it to her. <laughs> no, you give it to her. It's a gift. Cheeseburger, large coat? Yep. Have a great day. Thanks. Yep. 